Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ksenia and today I will guide you through the 20 minutes yin yoga session. This morning yin yoga class is a really nice start for your day and it's really easy because we are not going to use any props today. So yin yoga without props. And it's yin yoga full body stretch. So we will open up whole body with yin approach. So let's start the day and try Jump into the practice. Bring yourself in any comfortable sitting position. You can do a couple of deep breaths. And placing hands on the zone of your belly. Bring and focus on yourself. And remember one thing in your life for what your gratitude. Feel it from your heart zone. And let it go to the earth through your sitting bones. Maybe staying still with your inner smile. And then softly relieving your hands. Still staying in sitting position, we will start uh, our session from the neck stretches to open up our neck and shoulders on. So bring your left hand on the right side of your head. And I remind you that we don't pull, we don't push in yin yoga class. You let your elbow and arm to be more relaxed and to work with the gravity here. You can reach out with the right arm, hand on the side for more intensity. But if you feel that for the morning class it's too intense, if you can always stay in the middle line with your hands. And staying still here for gentle opening of our neck and shoulders. Good, and softly relieve and we will change the sides. So neck we will warm up a little bit in shorter mode. So just change the side. You want to bring your right hand on the left side of the head, reaching out with the left arm on the side, maybe fingertips on the ground, and then relax in your right elbow, arm, let it to sink down and give natural weight of your arm. Breathe and stay. Good, softly relieve and both arms, interlock the fingers, place behind your head, closing the elbows, letting your both arms 
to sink down and use natural weight. So still without any additional pressure. Good, and then softly relieving both arms, we are moving to the next pose, to the Sphinx position. So we will start from the Sphinx pose and then softly we will move for more intensity into the Seal pose. I invite you to bring yourself on your belly, lengthen your arms, bring elbows closed on the level of your shoulders, just straight ahead and up to you for intensity you can choose to bring your elbows closer to the body or maybe a little bit further if you feel that for the morning it's already too intensive for your back and a little bit pressing down through the pubic bone and through your low part of the belly and just opening here shoulders chest Relaxing the face, breathing, staying in the pose. And then if you feel like for more intensity, you can relieve for a moment, bring your chest down and then spread your fingers, hands a little bit wider out of the line of your shoulders and then pressing away from the ground, straightening your arms, bring yourself into the seal pose. So a little bit more intensive approach here. Again, if you feel that it's too much for your body in the morning, you are staying with previous Sphinx position. You can roll the shoulders, dropping them down and staying still without any moves. And then softly relieving the pose, bending elbows and bringing chest, belly on the ground and moving to the tabletop position. Preparation for next pose, wide leg child position. So we want to open our knees as wide as you wish, closing the feet, big toes touching each other and then sitting bones all the way down on your heels or somewhere in the way. Do some corrections. So I remind you that about 15-20 seconds at the beginning you can really spend this time to find your level in yin yoga and then melting down with the heart straightening your arms 
forehead on the ground, staying in the pose. Good, start slowly, moves, bring the hands closer to your chest and right from here we are closing our knees to the center line and moving to dangling pose. So bring yourself on your feet and just straightening your legs, bringing your hips upper, upper, finding your level here for the soft folding down. If you feel that this hamstring stretch is too intensive for you now, then you can a little bit bend the knees on and find yourself in more gentle approach for this pose. Then grab the elbows for additional natural weight of your body. You can do some rotations with the neck zone and bring yourself right in the middle line between your hips, letting yourself to sink down. Dangling pose is absolutely nice pose for the morning, for the evening. It brings gentle boost of energy to our body at the same time has restorative approach and such a nice gentle opening of your hamstrings. You can bring your hands for support on the ground. Bring yourself with the hip zone down and finding yourself in the middle line of your mat. We are going to continue with the side stretches and just bring yourself in any comfortable sitting pose first, then close your left feet closer to the body, open your right leg like 45 degrees through the side and we are going to the folding down through the side here. So just gently bring yourself, shift a little bit from the center line right above your right leg and you can bring your right hand arm from the inner side. So you will start to feel gentle already tension on the left opposite side and then bringing your left arm above your head, relaxing and sinking down into the side, folding down. Choosing any level that is comfortable for you, staying still.
and we are going to change the side so you're closing your right feet exactly in the middle line of your body close to the root chakra lengthening your left leg on the side checking the level of the stretch from inner side and then bring and shifting yourself a little bit from the center line on the left leg feeling this first signs of the stretch drawing in your right arm above the head so i remind you that we don't want to pull or reach even if you can you want to work with the gravity in yin yoga approach relaxing and staying still Good, relieve in the pose. You can again right from here bring your hands in front of you. Torso to the central line and we are moving to the peak pose, straddle pose today. So you want to open your legs on the sides. Uh, I like to choose direction of my corners of the mat and check how do you feel so if you feel that it's intensive for you cut the distance you should not feel big space under your knees here and then from here from the pelvis from the hip belly you bring yourself to the front start to feel this first signs of your inner leg opening fingertips in front of you on the ground maybe then deeper hands and then moving softly softly deeper on the level that you like for the morning yin yoga maybe just staying with the fingertips on the ground relaxing And softly relieving the pose, bring yourself back into the straight line. If you need support for your knees, you can bring your hands under them and close softly in any comfortable sitting position. We are closing the session with the intention I will use kosher bells for this. And if you like to bring yourself into the Shavasana in laying position, you can do it now or staying still in the sitting pose. I invite you to 
relax your breath. Relax your face. Relax your body. And just say to yourself a couple of really nice compliments. You already did. Good morning yin yoga session. Did the action in self-care. And with this peaceful state of mind, look at your day ahead. And set the intention for your day. You can place the hands on the zone of your belly. And then set your intention and send it to the ground through your sitting bones. And then closing the session, bring the hands in front of your heart for clear and loving intentions. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for doing this 20 minutes yin yoga class with me. If you like, give me support with your like, and I would love to hear any comments and feedback. You can leave them down below. And see you next time. See you on the mat.